Rockers, it's AJ, and in case you missed it, you, yes, you have got a choice to join me and the rest of her on your crew as we talk to some of the artists before the big show on Friday, April 19th, is our 98 Rock Fest official correspondent. That's thanks to our friends here at the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Now, in honor of this, I'd like to introduce to you Doris and Johnny from the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. Doris and Johnny, Welcome. It is so nice to have you on today. Now, Doris, I understand you have some information that's important for our youth and families. Yes, I do. We've been promoting an awareness campaign focused on families to encourage them to have the talk with their youth about underage alcohol use and substance misuse. This talk needs to occur more than once so they know why they should not consume alcohol or experiment with drugs at their age. It's just not a good decision and not very healthy for growing bodies and developing brains. You parents have to take a stand and say that it's just not okay and tell them why and give them the answers they need to say no if they're in a situation that's uncomfortable for them. And we've also partnered with Johnny Crowder, who has developed a wonderful platform to help uh, young people if they're coping with mental health issues. And so uh, he's my special guest today, AJ, Johnny Crowder. Hey, Johnny, can you tell us a little bit more about Cope Notes and how this is of importance for our youth and families? Yes. First, I'll say that I was the kid who was growing up and didn't want therapy, didn't want medication. I didn't want to talk to anybody about what I was going through, but I knew I was struggling. And now I get to help people like young Johnny every single day overcome those same challenges. So I run a company called Cope Notes. And we send randomly timed text messages that interrupt negative thought patterns and train the brain to think healthier thoughts. Wow, that's incredible. Now, how does somebody become a part of Cope Notes? So anybody who is curious about Cope Notes, you can go to copenotes.com and learn more and subscribe for yourself. But what's so exciting about our project with Central Florida Behavioral Health Network is that if you are a parent of a Pasco County student or a Hardy County student, you can actually redeem a free subscription for your son or daughter. Or if you happen to be a staff or faculty member of either of those school districts, you can redeem a free subscription. So if you are in Hardy, you can go to copenotes.com slash Hardy to redeem your free subscription. And if you are in Pasco, you can go to copenotes.com slash DSBPC, District School Board of Pasco County, to redeem a free subscription for yourself or your son or daughter. That's incredible. So this isn't restricted to an age limit, or is it? We won't send any inappropriate messages, but we recommend it for ages 12 and up just because sometimes we use what I like to call $10 words. So maybe if you have an elementary schooler, they might not. They might ask you about a vocab word or two. Understood. Understood. Now, Doris and Johnny, do you have anything else to help our families have this conversation? Uh, you certainly can visit our website and you can download from there a mobile app for your phone so it, you get all the answers right there when they're handy. You can look at fact and tip sheets that are there as well as broadcast you can watch that will help you prepare to have these talks with your children. So we try to give you all the information you need to help you feel prepared for those conversations you'll be having. And all can be found at www.cfbhn.org. So go there, download them today, and think about some good times to start the conversation with your kids. Come see us at Rockfest and check out Johnny at copenotes.com, especially if you're in Hardy or Pasco County. You're not kidding, which Doris and Johnny, we look forward to seeing you guys at 98 Rock Fest. I cannot wait to find out more and see what you guys have to offer, not only there, but Johnny, Cope Notes, what incredible service that you are providing, which I got to know, do you have any last words for our families? Yes, it is. This is a personal one. So I grew up listening to rock and metal. I am in a metal band called Prison right now as I talk to you. <laughs> and I will tell you that music was a coping mechanism for me when I was growing up. So if you are using music as a coping mechanism, please continue. It served me in such a wonderful way, but don't stop there. There are other resources outside of music that are more targeted that can help you even more than the best riff you've ever heard. So please share this with your son or daughter and remember that if they're using music for coping, that's a healthy one. Continue reinforcing that over the other ones that aren't so healthy. Mm -hmm. 
couldn't agree more. Doris, do you have any last words for our families? Just remember, folks, we're in it to win it with you. That's our motto. We want to make sure every child grows up healthy, happy, and successful. So learn more. Go to our website, www.cfbhn.org. Doris, Johnny, thank you guys so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Such incredible information. And of course, for your chance to be our 98 Rockfest official correspondent powered by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families, just go to the website right now, 98rock.com.